George and the Noisy Baby. Peppa and George's family are having a sleepover at Cousin Chloe's house. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are looking forward to an early night. They've had a long journey. Hello, cries Cousin Chloe. Hello, shouts Auntie Pig. Hello, booms Uncle Pig. And everyone makes a lot of noise in Cousin Chloe's house. They are a very noisy family. First, we'll put baby Alexander to bed, says Auntie Pig. This is his bedroom. Auntie Pig turns up at baby Alexander's musical mobile. Alexander likes noise, she explains. It sends him to sleep. Peppa and George are staying in Cousin Chloe's bedroom. They're very excited. Night night, snorts Peppa. Soon everyone is tucked up in their beds, asleep. <coughs> Baby Alexander is awake. Everyone is awake. Uncle Pig tries vacuuming. Auntie Pig tries playing the trumpet. Noise is the best way to get baby Alexander to sleep, she says. Daddy Pig has a quieter idea to try. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house, he says. That always sent him to sleep. Daddy Pig pushes baby Alexander in his pram. He only has to go round the house 50 times. Good, he puffs at last. Baby Alexander is asleep. Daddy Pig and baby Alexander are ready to come inside. Auntie Pig switches the alarm back on. George, cries Daddy Pig, what are you doing up? <clears throat> Yawns George. Noisy. And Daggy Daddy Pig takes George and baby Alexander back up to bed. He's about to turn the light off when... <laughs> Uh-oh, gasps George. Baby Alexander is awake again. It is very noisy. Daddy Pig decides to drive Baby Alexander around in the car. Don't forget to turn off the alarm, shouts Auntie Pig. Daddy Pig forgets to turn off the alarm. The noisy house wakes everyone up and Miss Rabbit zooms across in her rescue helicopter. Is everyone all right down there? yells Miss Rabbit. Yes, thank you, bellows Uncle Pig. The alarm has worked. Baby Alexander is fast asleep. And it's all down to my noisy daddy, giggles Peppa.